The goal is not to be better than the other man, but your previous self. A disciplined mind leads to happiness, and an undisciplined mind leads to suffering. I find hope in the darkest of days and focus in the brightest, I do not judge the universe. We can live without religion and meditation, but we cannot survive without human affection. Old friends pass away, new friends appear. It is just like the days. An old day passes, a new day arrives. The important thing is to make it meaningful, a meaningful friend or a meaningful day. My religion is very simple, my religion is kindness. The good man is the friend of all living things. Strength does not come from physical capacity. It comes from an indomitable will. First, they ignore you. Then they laugh at you. Then they fight you. Then you win. An ounce of practice is worth more than tons of preaching. So I want to turn your attention to this subject, loving your enemy. It's so basic to me because it is a part of my basic philosophical and theological orientation, the whole idea of love, the whole philosophy of love. Because you have a copy in your soul. And here you come to the point that you love the individual who does the evil deed while hating the deed that the person does. This is what Jesus means when he says love the enemy, this is the way to do it. ラブイズワンアクトオブエンドレスフォーギブネス。エーテンダールックザットビカムズ。エーハビット。ヘイトカムズフロムインチミダチオン。ラブカムズフロムアプリイシエーション。ゼアイズオンリーワンハピネスインディスライフ。ツーラブアンドビーラブ。Thought we'd discuss the final end of God's enemies. There's a beautiful expression here in the 37th Psalm. How encouraging to meditate on this beautiful verse, verse 20. But the wicked will perish. The enemies of Jehovah will vanish like glorious pastures. They will vanish like smoke. How we look forward to. These enemies of Jehovah are enemies vanishing like smoke. So the Isaiah prophecy book mentions that Gehenna was used for the disposal of refuse and carcasses of those deemed unworthy of burial. Fire would be a suitable means of eliminating such refuse. Now this point, what the fire did not consume, the maggots would. Know much about maggots? But、uh, you see a whole bunch of them. It's just not a pleasant sight. But what a fitting picture of the final end of all of God's enemies. We look forward to it. However, the apostates and the enemies of Jehovah would say, "Well, that's gruesome. That's despicable. You teach your people these things." No, God teaches His people. These things. This is what he's foretelling, and frankly, for friends of Jehovah God, how reassuring that they're finally going to be gone. All these despicable enemies that have just reproached Jehovah's name, destroyed, never ever to live again. Now, it's not that we rejoice 
in someone's death, but when it comes to God's enemies, fine. That we're living in the final part of the last days, undoubtedly the final part of the final part of the last days, shortly before the last day of the last days. God's kingdom has been ruling in the heavens as we've discussed during this convention for a hundred years. In fact, there is more evidence confirming the existence of the kingdom than the evidence that would convince us that there's gravity, electricity, wind. <laughs>